Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Be a Badass, and today we're going to be badasses in Sawtooth Cauldron, where we have four challenges, Cult of the Vault, Race to the Top, Haiku Hitman, and Happy Camper. And there's also, in my opinion, the best single Easter egg in the game. So let's get right to it. So up first, we have Haiku Hitman, and incidentally, we're going to be getting Happy Camper at the same time. The first echo recording for Haiku Hitman is up here, on the right, just before this ramp. And up here, we're just going to leap down into the Scalding Remnants, where it's again going to be on the right, the second echo recording. Echo recording number three is up on the building in Cramfist Foundry. You just need to climb up this ladder up here and be careful because you're going to get shot at by the auto guns or Gatling turrets or whatever they call them. Uh, I'm on a higher difficulty than I, or a lower difficulty than I should be, so they don't do much damage to me, but be wary if you are doing this like an actual badass. The last Echo recording is at the top of the Buzzards Tower, which you get to by going through the elevator down in this cave, just like you would in the story. If you want, you can completely ignore Mortar right here. You don't have to, but it may be easier for you. Just up behind this dumpster is where you're going to find the last one. And for Happy Camper, I'm going to look around like an idiot for a little bit, but it's on the southwest side that you're looking for. You'll see it. It's a just a little campsite that you're aiming for. I think I got confused because that's where the blank spot on my map was. You can see it right there. I just looked at it, but I couldn't get the jump. And I see it again, decide I can't jump. And finally, I believe, I just go for it. Yep. Just landing by it will get you challenge credit. For our next challenge, we're going to be doing Cult of the Vault. We have two vault symbols that we need to find. The first one that we're going to be going after is on pretty much the westernmost part of the map. It's that little island if you're looking at your map. I don't pull it up here so I can't exactly point it out, but you'll see what I mean. Now that we're moving on to this little cliffside island thing, the vault symbol is in this little freight container. On the left, I run right by it. Alright, the second vault symbol is a little bit difficult to get to. It is in the actual elevator shaft that is bringing you to the buzzard's nest. What we're going to do is ride the elevator all the way to the top, and then we're going to send the elevator back down and leap on top of it. We're going to be looking on the right hand side for a treasure chest, a red chest, that we can land on. Kind of see it right there. It's actually easier to land on than it looks, and I actually fuck it up here. I try to jump to land on that beam that I was looking at, but I bounce off the wall. I swear that was intentional, just so I can illustrate how to fuck it up and how you should prevent that. So we're gonna ride this elevator back up to the top. 
And once we're there, send it back down and again aim for that red chest and stand there just for a second. And this time we're just gonna walk straight off and we will land on the ledge we're looking for. No jumping necessary. And there it is. Good luck to you guys to get this one. It was, you know, difficult to figure out. Now, Race to the Top is a timed challenge that you just need to get to the top of the buzzard's nest before two minutes is up. You can do this if you're making a beeline. It's super simple. If you have any movement talents, that helps you out. But it's really not that difficult, especially if you are on a lower difficulty than you would normally be playing on. So I'm just going to let this play out, follow the path I take, and you'll get this no problem. Now we have the Easter Egg Tannis Rides Again, at least that's what I call it. This is probably my favorite Easter Egg in the whole game, and you're just going to want to follow the path that I'm taking. Now around this area, it's helpful if you clear out every enemy you can because you don't want to be getting shot at while you're trying to do this. This involves blowing up some barrels and in a very specific order, so if they accidentally get hit, it kind of ruins the challenge. So make sure that you take your time and clear out this area so no one's aggro to you. Now up here, you're gonna start getting yelled at for leaving the map boundaries, that's okay. Don't get shot at, but that's the area you want to be in. Once I have no red diamonds on my map, that's when I decide it's fine. So we're gonna shoot, shoot the shock barrel first. That incendiary barrel by the hut, incendiary. Corrosive out on that tiny island, it's easier with a sniper rifle. The explosive, and finally, slag. And I'm gonna let you listen to what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have a request for the next zone, I do leave a comment down below that like button. And as always, enjoy your badass ranks, and we will see you in the next video.